Glenn. Yes, sir. We're going to be dealing with really close tolerances today. That's what this video is all about. Okay. It's about the lowly, simple parallel. Okay. Which seems to be rather unimportant. So, but it, yeah, sometimes but, it does. And, and, and easy to make. It's really not. Mm -hmm. More importantly, I want to talk about the size of the parallel, parallelism, flatness, and of course, we're going to enter into the equation the surface plate. What do I mean by size? Well, if I were to take the micrometer and check this in four or five spots, it could be the same size. Would you agree? Yes. For example, let's supposing the parallel looked like this, but I checked it here, here, and here. Now, this is a pinpoint measurement, right? Yes. This could be on size. Let's say that this is one inch, one inch, and one inch. But it really is not going to show that it's on size if I put it on a surface plate like so, because when I come across it, what's going to happen? It's going to explode. This is going to be high, and this is going to be low. So it's going to, it's going to be a little confusing now. It's going to show that this parallel is not on size, when really it is. Yeah. The issue is that it's not flat and it's not parallel with one another. So it's well it's actually it is parallel with with itself. With its within itself. But when I put it on a surface plate, that's where it, it comes it, off. It yeah. starts being a little confusing there because it's not flat, because it has a bow in it. So how do we fix that or how do we double check that? Well that we put it on a surface plate, let's say, mm -hmm. and we're gonna check it, which we're gonna do right here. And we're going to check it across with a tenth indicator. Remember, we always want to put it on the edge and slide. Look, we're dealing with tenths here. We're dealing with, with almost millions. So we have to be very careful that we understand. Now, you see this one. This is within a tenth or so, mm -hmm. which is perfect. Okay. Now, that's one way to check it. Another way is if I slide it. Okay. So that... Pretty much gives me the same reading. It's within a tenth or so. Yes, it is. What happens, though, if we enter into the equation the surface plate? Let me show you what I mean by that. The surface mm -hmm. plates get worn, right? Yeah. So here's our surface plate, and let's assume it has a hole in it like that. Mm. We put our parallel on there, like so, and let's say that this parallel is actually straight, square, flat, parallel. Perfect. When I go in here to check it, my indicator is going to go down, the indicator stand is going to go down in this hole, which means it's going to show this as low and this as what? High. That's correct. It's going to be high. And this is going to be low. So the important part of this lesson here is that, is that we have to make sure that the surface plate, which is our point of reference, is actually flat as it should be. Okay. How do we make sure it's flat? Well, you call up the surface plate people, they come out and they calibrate them. Okay. They actually come out and grind them with diamond dust, and oh, they make wow. sure that okay. they're flat, and they come in and they inspect them again. They have their own tools to inspect them to make sure that they're flat. I have to get then, my instruments calibrated, too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then they put a tag on them and say, okay, as of this date, they're certified, and if you want to have them certified at another date, say a year out or six mm -hmm. months out, depending on the use, they'll come out and do it again. So this is really critical, and I can't emphasize this enough. When you're dealing with close tolerances like we're talking about here, we're talking about a tenth or two. Oh, yeah. This is not easy to make. To make a parallel within a couple of tenths and to make it parallel and on size is not easy. What about perpendicular? That's a whole other mm -hmm. equation. From here to here. What if I what if we did this? And all of a sudden it's not perpendicular anymore. Mm -hmm. So it could be on size, it could be square, it could be parallel, but it's not perpendicular. That's another that's another lesson. We don't we're not here really to deal with that, but I just wanted to point out that the parallel itself, when it's being manufactured, has to be on size, has to be parallel, has to be flat, has to be perpendicular. Okay. So it's critical. If you're dealing with thousands, it's not that bad. But when you're in this world, what I call the micro world, and you're dealing with a tenth or two, mm -hmm. it's really, really important that we understand all of these things. Size, parallelism, flatness, and perpendicular, and our surface plate. The surface plate is a key ingredient in the equation. Yes, it is. So anyway, I hope that's helpful. And uh, thank you for watching. And watch us on Facebook and 
Where else are we? We're on Twitter, Twitter we're on Facebook. We're Facebook, all over the place, right? Pinterest. Uh, I think so. You name them all, whatever the media is. Anyway, just keep an eye on us and watch us. And, and again, thank you for watching, and I hope this is helpful to you.